let's open some munchlings. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Tuesday, I am here with another Munchlings unboxing and if you didn't watch last month's I will leave a card up above because I am filming this one approximately 10 seconds after I finish filming that one. But today we are opening the Fruity Finds Munchlings which released on the 9th of January. My mom ordered them for me whilst I was in Disneyland Paris and now I am back I can film those unboxings, get any trades going through if I need to and share with you what I got. So as they both released on the same day I could only really justify getting four of each. Just like the garden goodness set they have all come in little individual plastic bags which I don't like because it's just unnecessary single-use plastic. I think it's done so that the scents don't cross over and I did do a pretty good job of guessing the scents on the vegetables even though I don't eat vegetables. I don't eat many fruits either so I'm not sure I'll be that good at this one either but let's quickly get all these out of their bags. That smelled very fruity. That smells chocolatey. Right, so before we open them, let's go through the ones that you can get. So you can get an Angel Akai Bowl, which is the only one that is sold as a big size. For the garden goods, it was this mic that I've got here. A mini blueberry pancake, a piglet chocolate dipped strawberry, a daisy fresh coconut water, a King Louie banana nut bread, a white rabbit fruit and granola parfait, and a mystery character and we know from release day of people sharing on Facebook and Instagram what they got it is a Simba lemon chocolate cake that is the mystery character the ones I think I would most like are Angel, Minnie Mouse and the White Rabbit I think I'm not that bothered about Simba Piglet is cute but I have a pending trade that would involve getting Piglet so I would rather not have a double Piglet yeah let's see what we've got. So I am going to attempt to smell these but I will probably majorly fail. I've just been opening the sides up a little bit to try and get a smell. I'm gonna guess that that's the Daisy Duck fresh coconut water. Not 100% sure but I'm gonna guess Daisy. So box number one, is it Daisy? It is not! and I actually really like this one. So it is the White Rabbit Fruit and Granola Parfait. So he's got the granola as his bottom, then he's got a kiwi by his ear, and his bow's a little kiwi. He's got little blush on his cheeks, which reminds me of Wishables, which I miss so much. And the smell is just generally fruity, yogurty, and I just really, really love this one. So I'm really glad I got this. So I'm really, really happy with that one. And again, just like Garden Goodness, they do break down, but I will do that once I know how many I need to trade. So box number two, let's have a sniff. Sadly, I think that's the White Rabbit again. I am not 100% sure. I have seen it said on Facebook that these are really hard to smell, probably because of the box, because the baked goods was easier to kind of get into and I've ripped the box, but let's see what I've got. Box number two, is it White Rabbit again? No, it is Daisy, which is what I thought the White Rabbit was. So this is the Daisy Duck Fresh Coconut Water. I don't drink coconut water either. But as you can see, she's in a coconut, and then she's got a little pineapple and a straw by her bow. She does smell very coconutty, but I thought the white rabbit smelled coconutty as well, so I wasn't sure. She's got blush on her cheeks, and she's just really adorable. So I'm really glad that we've had no doubles so far. But I did rip this box, so I'm going to break this one down for you. You just open it up. It starts to look like Ronald Weasley but then you just push it in and it's ready to be recycled. So on to box number three let's see if we can have a sniff. I would still really like Angel and Minnie. This is a smell I do not recognise. I know what blueberries smell of 
So I'm going to go with the Akai Bowl, fingers crossed, because that is Angel. Let's just get into all of the tabs. I've ripped that box quite significantly. Oops. But I would really like it to be Angel or Minnie. So let's see what we get. Oh no. Oh. So it's the King Louis banana bread, which I've got to say looks nothing like the picture because the picture has him with bananas all over his head and he doesn't have bananas all over his head so he does smell of banana but have I got a defective one that has no banana on him I'm gonna have to see people's photos to see if theirs had any bananas but yeah three for three so far I mean if you watch last month's video you'll know that I got to three for three before I opened the last one so this is no sign that I'm gonna have four for four. I would be happy if I got four for four because obviously we can't complete the set only buying four, but it's just better than having no doubles. So final box, what have I got? That smells like Louis again. No, I want it to be Minnie or Angel. Neither of those smell like bananas. So let's see, final box, what have I got? Just hope it's not a duplicate. Oh, oh, there's his bananas, they didn't come off in the box, what, what, why have I got a defective one, and why do I kind of want to keep both, because I've never had a defective plush before, what, what, oh, well, I'm a bit mad, but at the same time I'm not really mad, because way hey hey, I've got a rare one. I wonder whether anyone would want to trade me for something I really want, like Minnie, <laughs> the blueberry. But that's mental. So, so I'm gonna say technically that we had no duplicates because these two aren't the same, but that's absolutely mental. That's never happened to me before. But the good news is, if you watch my last video where I opened the garden goods, I can now trade my mic for the piglet that I didn't get from this set because I didn't get a piglet, so it's all worked out well. But that is my rather strange munchlings unboxing because I haven't had a defective munchling or wishbowl or anything ever, so that's really strange. I just need to sort out these. I am going to keep a box for the defective Louis just in case someone does really, really want it. So I'm just going to quickly fold these boxes up and put them in the recycling. So that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and comment down below which one was your favorite. And I will see you on Friday for a Disneyland Paris vlog. Bye friends.